verset 6 à 7. J'ai fait connaître ton nom. Et puis ça va avec. Parce que si on fait ça, on dit Amen. Jean 17, verset 6 à 17. On a dit avec un 3, 4. J'ai fait connaître ton nom aux hommes que tu m'as donné du milieu du monde. Ils étaient à toi et tu me les as donnés et ils ont gardé ta parole. Maintenant, ils ont connu que tout ce que tu m'as donné vient de toi. Car je leur ai donné les paroles que tu m'as données et ils les ont reçues et ils ont vraiment connu que je suis sorti de toi. Et ils ont connu que tu m'as envoyé. C'est pour eux que je prie. Je ne prie pas pour le monde, mais pour ceux que tu m'as donnés, parce qu'ils sont à toi. Et tout ce qui est à moi est à toi, et ce qui est à toi est à moi, et je suis glorifié en eux. Je ne suis plus dans le monde. Ils sont dans le monde, et je vais à toi. Lorsque j'étais avec eux dans le monde, je les gardais en ton nom. J'ai gardé ce que tu m'as donné et aucune de ne s'est perdu sinon le fils de la perdition afin que l'écriture soit accomplie. Et maintenant, je fais à toi et je dis ces choses dans le monde afin qu'il ait en eux la joie parfaite. Je leur ai donné ta parole et le monde les a haïs parce ne sont pas du monde comme moi, je ne suis pas du monde. Je ne te prie pas de les ôter du monde, mais de les préserver du mal. Ils ne sont pas du monde comme moi, je ne suis pas du monde. Sanctifie-les par ta vérité. de nos âmes Esprit Saint Esprit d'amour Vers le ciel Yeah. 
de paix, d'esprit, d'éternel, baptisez-nous de paix. Ô Dieu, esprit de Dieu,
le monde ne pas travailler l'église ou pas prêcher l'évangile c'est pas pasteur ou pas même parce que pas mourir pour l'église c'est bon Dieu que mourir pour l'église le salut des âmes me concerne parce que je suis un disciple mais le salut des âmes il y a plus provision la caille papa bon Dieu parce que les élites mourir pour l'église et sous qu'on est qu'on doit bon Dieu ça mais tout responsable pendant deux semaines ça moi d'accord qu'on capable à chaque soir mais fait sacrifice local là mais non monde et monde qui gagne petit qui qui gagne dans entourage yo. si monde qui doit recevoir le baptême monde que nous dans mais nous fait étude avec eux ou est avec moi ou avec ce Magda Silveus, ou avec un responsable d'un ministère personnel, yo, pour nous capable de faire études avec eux. Mais son je me dis non ça, pas force et travail, ce n'est pas sans tout doué, bon Dieu ça. Car il est glorieux et digne de régner, la Priez pour puissance, mon Dieu, capable d'habiter l'église pendant deux semaines. Travail, mon Dieu, pas jamais facile. Il y a dérangement dans tout aspect. Ni dans l'aspect interne, ni dans l'aspect externe, ni dans le monde qui le prêcher, ni dans le monde qui le croiser. Mais songez ça, bon Dieu, nous travaillons. Qui ça me dit, nous bien aimés C'est avec bon Dieu, nous avons travaillé. Mettez cœur, nous, mettez nom nous dans le travail. Là. Et main en main, pour nous capables de représenter bon Dieu valablement au cours de ces deux semaines. Fais mes yeux, nous prions dans le cœur, nous pour moi. Pendant deux semaines, ça y est, pour onction, bon Dieu, capable de sous moi. Pour que parole m'a dit, ce n'est pas ça, je l'école, mais que parole m'a dit, je sorti directement de bon Dieu. Et le capable de sensibiliser les cœurs, pour être capable d'accepter le message de la parole de Dieu. Priez dans le cœur. Dis, bon Dieu, fais bétanie grâce. Pendant deux semaines, ça, accompagnez-nous. On nous prie le Seigneur. Seigneur éternel, ou fidèle. Nous pas gain pour nous faire qu'un sauter les n'a font bagaille pour parce qu'on te gain t'en promettre nous qu'on avec nous tous les jours jusqu'à la fin du monde c'est vous même qui dit dans la parole au seigneur qu'on va nous pouvoir pour nous marcher sur les scorpions sur toute la puissance de l'ennemi pendant ces deux semaines seigneur nous avons besoin de toi viens au bien de mes pères assiste tes enfants Viens au bien de mes pères, qu'on soit capable de présider ces deux semaines toi-même. Que tu sois au bien de mes pères, le prédicateur de ces deux semaines. Que tu sois au bien de mes sauveurs, le prédicateur qui sensibilisera les cœurs des amis visiteurs. Et qu'à l'issue de, de, de ces deux semaines d'évangélisation, des âmes honnêtes et sincères capables d'entrer au Berkai et l'église est capable de sentir réellement que nous avons été touchés de ta puissance et de ta grâce. Seigneur, retirez sous route nous tout ça pas de nous même Retirez dans l'esprit nous tout mauvais bagarre, toute mauvaise stratégie pas de nous même pour nous capables de faire de ces deux semaines, il y a un moyen pour nous montrer qu'on est mort pour nous et nous avons respect à ton sacrifice parce que c'est où que vous voyez à le prêcher, parole là. Seigneur éternel, Dieu des armées, toi qui m'as établi ministre de ta parole et j'ai reçu ton action, je déclare au nom de ta puissance et de ta grâce qui m'a établi. Que cette église est bénie pour le temps et pour l'éternité. Et que ces deux semaines d'évangélisation seront pour ton église un succès particulier à ta gloire et à ton honneur. Sous ta remise, Seigneur, humiliez-nous, fais-le, depuis c'est pour gloire. Mais si c'est ta volonté, pour capable utiliser nous et sauver des âmes, revigorer ton esprit au sein de ce peuple, qu'on est capable de faire pour ta gloire et pour ton honneur. Viens établir ta puissance à Bethany. Viens établir ton règne ici à Bethany. Viens établir ta gloire à Bethany. Que toi-même sois le prédicateur 
de ces deux semaines. Et je déclare au nom de ce Jésus, le Dieu des Adventistes du septième jour, que la Shekinah céleste sera présente soir après soir et que la gloire de Dieu fusionnera à cette assemblée pour la mouvance de la prédication de la parole. Viens et fais-le toi-même. Tu as l'habitude de le faire. Tu peux le faire. Tu vas le faire pour ta gloire et pour ton honneur. En Jésus-Christ, nous te faisons cette prière. Amen. Car il est glorieux et digne de régner. L'agneau est souverain. Est souverain. Nous Nous élevons la voix pour l'adorer. La gloire Qui t'aime quand pas encore bien aimé Attiré Mais, mais si nous Nous allons renvoyer Si nous ne voulons pas répéter Si nous ne voulons pas nous renvoyer Nous d'accord Bien aimé qui t'aime quand pas bien aimé Attiré par sa grâce Que mon Dieu est capable avec nous Et nous demander à responsable jeunesse Pour être capable de prendre le relais Et nous capable de continuer avec le programme du culte de ce matin. Demain soir, c'est un train. N'abtons nous. N'ab la prière. N'ab avancé. Bon Dieu, bien victoire quand même. Que bon Dieu capable avec nous. Amen. Et bien, nous allons dire Amen, mon ami. Amen. Bon sabbat dans le Seigneur. Bonjour l'église. Bonjour l'église. Nous allons continuer à chanter dans le numéro 392 de Canaan quand verrons-nous le céleste rivage.
Matelot en voyage vers le bord éternel. S'il survient d'un orage, pensons aux deux rivages. Notre report est au ciel. Oh! 
defenders. Forward, at a full step, march. Pathfinders, hold. Pathfinders, left and right, face. We will not recite our Legion of Honors. Pledge to the Bible, one. I pledge allegiance to the Bible and to the gospel for which it stands. One Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. Pledge to the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the savior for whose kingdom it stands. One brotherhood uniting all mankind in service and in love. Pledge to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Two, we will now sing the Star Spangled Banner Left and right, oblique. Oh, say, can you see that the town's early light was so proudly near at the twilight's last gleaming, whose best eyes said bright stars through the perilous world. So Two, 
We will not sing the Haitian anthem. Pour le pays, pour les ancêtres, ma chance unie, ma chance unie, dans nos rangs. Left and right oblique. Adventure pledge. One. Because Jesus loves me, I will always do my best. Two. Adventure law. One. Jesus can help me to be obedient, be pure, be true, be kind, be respectful, be attentive, be helpful, be cheerful, be thoughtful, be reverent. One, two, adventure song. We are adventurers at home, at school, and we play. We are adventurers. We're learning every day to be honest, kind, and true, to be like Jesus through and through. We are adventurers. Pathfinder Pledge, one. By the grace of God, I'll be pure, kind, and true. I will keep the path under law. I'll be a servant of God and a friend to man. Two, pathfinder law. One, the pathfinder law is for me to keep the morning watch, do my honest part, care for my body, keep a level eye, be courteous and obedient, walk softly in the sanctuary, keep a song in my heart, and go on God's errands. Two, pathfinder song. Oh, we are the pathfinder strong. The servants of God are we, faithful as we march along, and kind of truth that pure ends. A man who the world, a true God will set us free. We sing the song of the Lord. The Advent message to all the world in my generation. Motto, the love of Christ compels me. Yeah. 
all to worship. Earth, sing to the Lord. Be happy as you serve the Lord. Come before him with happy songs. Know that the Lord is God. He made us and we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep he takes care of. Come through the gates to his temple, giving thanks to him. Enter his courtyards with songs of praise. Honor him and bless his name. The Lord is good. There is no end to his faithful love. We can trust him forever and ever. all these words saying I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee that the out the land of Egypt out the house bondage thou shalt have no gods before me thou shalt have not make unto thee any grave image or any likeness of thing that is in heaven above or that is in earth or that is the earth beneath the water or is the water under the earth thou shalt not bow down thy, thy thyself to them or nor serve them for I, the Lord thy God, am I jealous, God, visiting the inquiry of the fathers upon the children, unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and screwing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name or the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him, hold him guiltless, that taken his name in vain. Remember to keep the Sabbath day and to keep it holy six days shall thy labor and do all thy work but the seventh day is the sabbath day of the lord thy god in it thou shalt not do any work thou shalt not thou thou nor thy son nor thy daughter thy manservant nor thy maidservant nor thy cattle nor thy strangers within the gates for the sixth day the lord made heaven and earth and the sea and all that remained and rested in the seventh day, whether for the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Amen. Amen.
Let me bow our heads and close your eyes. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you that we come here today. And as we're going to listen to the word, Father God, give us his blessing. In Jesus' name we pray you. Amen. Pathfinders, at ease. Good morning, church. Behold, oh, how pleasant it is, how sweet it is for brothers to remain together. For it is where Jehovah sends blessing, life for eternity. It is good to be in the house of the Lord, to praise and worship him in unity. For this is where blessings always reside. I would like to welcome you all in his presence. I would also like to welcome any visitors to stand. Thank you for coming to this church and sharing the goal to, pre to prepare for Jesus' second coming by, by experiencing the gospel, by experiencing the gospel and sharing his message of love and standing firm in truth. Once again, welcome to Bethany. Good morning, church. I would like to ask y'all to stand so you can smile and, smile and greet people around you while we sing, this is the day that the Lord has made. Bonjour l'église. Bonjour l'église. Bon sabbat dans le Seigneur. Um, nous content parce que matin, nous gagnons un pile visiteur ensemble avec nous. Qui ça nous dit l'église? Nous demandons de sister Samantha pour qu'elle va passer par devant pour nous, s'il vous plaît. 
Lord de Franklin. Pour le programme ça a réussi, ce n'est pas moi-même seul, mais nous avons un pile de monde qui mettait main ensemble avec nous, qui cause que le programme ça a lui-même réussi à la gloire de Dieu. Nous avons un pile de visiteurs qui sont bien loin, qui visitent nous matin. Nous disons technologie, merci en pile pour façon que les supporter le club là. Et nous disons tous les musiciens, nous, merci aussi. Um, nous avons Blood Franklin qui pourra uh, réciter quelques uh, um, clubs qui sont bien loin, qui sont là ensemble avec nous aujourd'hui. Happy Sabbath Church. At this time, we want to take this moment to extend our sincere acknowledgement of the esteem. SEC District 3 officials, as well as our fellow congregants representing the various club in the district and as well as outside of the district who have decided to partake in our morning worship this morning. And we ask as we announce your name, would you kindly stand so that the congregation may take this opportunity to offer you a warm greeting. Um, to start off, we have Berka. Two from Orlando, Beaka. Two from from Orlando. Can you please stand? Pathfinder Club. They're not here. Uh, we have Pontiana from Kissimmee. Can you please stand up? Thank you for coming, guys. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And also we have Emmanuel Sentinels Hispanic SDA. Church Pathfinder Club. Thank you for coming, guys. It's a pleasure to have you with us this morning. And also, we have Eden Warriors of Fort Myers. Eden Warriors of Fort Myers. Can you please stand? Also, awesome. amen. We also have our One U Knights of Tampa, First University Knights of Tampa. Can you please all stand, those who are with us this morning? Okay, and next we have District 3 Coordinator, Jean Rodney Jean, Jean Rodney Jean, can you please stand? He's back there in the, in the cut. <laughs> and also we have Sister Gerline, D3 Adventurer Coordinator. Amen. Welcome, it's a pleasure to have you. And we also have Miss Burnett, she's also the coordinator of District 3, she's in the back as well. Thank you for coming, Ms. Burnett, Burnett Martin. And we also have a special guest in, among us this morning. We have former commissioner of the Florida Public Service Commission, um, Mr. Ronald Brise. Thank you for coming, Mr. Brise. It's a pleasure to have you with us this morning. And, and at this time, we all know that the theme of this weekend is Call to serve. Our weekend central theme re revolve around the concept of answering the call to service. As dedicated members of Bethany Builders Pathfinder staff, our mission is to guide and support the young, the youth, and fostering their comprehension of God's boundless love, inspiring the exploration of their innate potential, and facilitate, facilitating holistic growth, spiritually, physically, socially, and intellectually. Our aspiration is to nurture their ability to contribute meaningfully to both the church and the wider community. In line with our theme, we have embarked on a fresh endeavor this weekend to acknowledge and celebrate the exceptional contribution of leaders within our church and the broader community. This morning, we have a distinct privilege to bestow, of bestowing a special tribute upon an individual who exemplify the essence of our theme. This outstanding individual has dedicated numerous years to selfless, to selflessly serving both the church and the extended community, leaving an indelible impact. With an, with an extensive career spanning from over two decades in diverse fields, this accomplished legislative leader has left an indelible mark. He has held House of Representatives, he has served 
as House of Representative of Florida House of Representative of the 1H District. District. And also, he has served as Commissioner of the Florida Public Service. Noteworthy, this is the fact that he is a proud member, of, a product of our church community. His educational journey encompasses Miami Union Academy in Miami during his formative years, and sub subsequently, academic pursuit at the prestigious Oakwood University, formerly known as Oakwood College and AIU. Today it is a profound admir admiration and respect. We direct our spotlight towards former Commissioner Ronald A. Brise, a shining embodiment of the principle that underpin our weekend theme, answering the call to service. Thank you, Mr. Brise. It's a pleasure to have you. And we ask that you come forward and receive this certificate. Uh, we thank you for your service within the church as well as the broader community. Thank you for coming and receive this plaque. On behalf of Bethany and Build the Pathfinder Church, we want to say thank you, sir, for saving America and saving the community. Thank you so much. One second. Pathfinder, Hudson Chin, present um. Order. Um. You may be sitting. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to say it is an honor. C'est un honneur pour moi pour me avec nous pour nous adorer dans sa bassa. Um, bon Dieu, li bon, pas vrai? He is awesome every single day. God gives us life. He gives us the opportunity to exist and the opportunity to serve. What you are learning as Pathfinders is nothing more than learning to serve. Amen. You are learning skills. You are learning and expanding your talents so that when God calls you to do something, you have already practiced. So the skills that I learned during my time when I was an adventurer and pathfinder, allowed me to, as mentioned, serve in the Florida House of Representatives here in the state of Florida, serve on the Public Service Commission in the state of Florida, which regulated all of the utilities in the state, so I served every single person in the state of Florida, and allowed me to serve at the federal level in a few different things. So what you are learning what you are learning will allow you to serve God and serve your community in the future. And I know you are planning for campery. I'm planning for campery. I have two children, right? One is a senior in high school. One is a seventh grader. And so I went to the last campery, and I'm planning for this next campery. So church, support your clubs. Church, support your clubs. It's out in Wyoming, Gillette, Wyoming. And so they need all the support that uh, you can give in order for the experience to be rich. May God bless you. May God bless you and continue church to support these young people. Because if you don't support them, si nous même nous pas bayou support, gen lot moun, gen lot group, gen lot communauté qui pral bayou support, et c'est pas support que nous même nous ta so may God bless you. Amen. Thank you, say again. Thank you. Nous gagnons un lot visiteur ensemble avec nous. We have Sister Wubi. Can you please stand up so the church can say hey, amen? And your family. Thank you. Thank you for coming. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, n'a pas de s'il vous plaît pour que um, Chef Oswal passe par devant pour nous. C'est un leader qui aide nous en pile. C'est ancien directeur Pathfinder Club. Là. Chef Oswal, mon désir. This certificate is presented in August 5, 2023, to Oswal, mon désir, in appreciation for your dedication and support to the Pathfinder Club 
May God continue to bless you in this ministry. Thank you. Nous gagnons ensemble avec nous, ancien directeur club blanc, ancien chef James Joseph. Nous gagnons c'est Nicole Joseph. C'est un c'est maman club blanc, il est toujours là pour capable aider club blanc à les n'a sorti, les nous l'église là toujours là, n'a pas de Saint Nicole Joseph, passez pas devant pour nous s'il vous plaît. Nous gagnons James Venner, c'est un nos parents qui toujours là supporter nous ni dans covid ni les sabon ni les sabon toujours conduit mon yo vini dans club là n'a demandé James venez pour qu'il capable passer par devant pour nous s'il vous plaît Nous gagnons ce le men Saint-il c'est un membre fondrésine club là qui toujours là pour aider nous pour que nous capable faire cob c'est le men Saint-il Nous avons Alejandro Charitable, c'est un directeur club. Il est toujours là ensemble avec nous pour nous plaindre, quel que soit sa affaire, il est toujours là pour nous supporter. Alejandro Carlos Charitable. Nous avons Sister Ketia Saint-Fleur. Nous avons demandé de passer par devant pour nous. Si le club n'a pas de l'argent, c'est sous compte de la Si le club a l'argent, tout c'est sous compte de la Nous avons un membre club blanc. C'est Ashnis Seneus. C'est un leader, leader que nous avons dans le club qui est vraiment intéressé. Il y a plus de principes. Il y a plus de principes. Nous avons demandé à Ashni de passer par devant pour nous, s'il vous plaît. Là, nous sortir avec le club là, c'est lui qui est là, qui est responsable pour le club là, on time, bien ordonné. <laughs> thank you so much, Ashni. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Nous avons un moment que le blanc et si que le blanc, c'est Suzanne Jean-Noël. Nous avons demandé de passer par devant pour nous, s'il vous plaît. Nous avons un breakfast, nous toujours un petit peu de temps. Nous avons un breakfast. C'est Suzanne, nous vraiment apprécier le service dans le club blanc. Nous avons un moment que nous avons encore, Wanina Nicola. C'est un homme qui est toujours là, il a fait fondraising pour pouvoir supporter le club. Il a demandé à Sister Wanina de passer devant vous, s'il vous plaît. Nous avons un ancien directeur club, le chef Pierrot Jean-Pierre. C'est un homme, euh, même qu'il n'est pas chef encore, il n'est pas directeur club, mais il est toujours là pour supporter nous, Jean le capable dans le club. Il a demandé à Chef Pierrot. Passez par devant pour nous, s'il vous plaît. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Le plus souvent, c'est moi, nous toujours dans le club là, nous toujours sommes devant. Non, tout ça n'a fait, nous toujours, ouais, nous toujours dit Frère William, Frère William. Mais en réalité, Blood et Franklin travaille plus passé dans le club. Là. Il travaille plus sincèrement, ce n'est pas pour me pou faire plaisir, mais sincèrement, il travaille plus passé dans le club. Là. Il dit justement, ou pas, où est mais il travaille dans le background. Blood et thank you so much. Thank you so much.
Nous avons un Olan Fleuran. C'est un monde où mettre les à la dernière minute, mais qui ont dernier coup de guide pour le faire pour. Nous avons demandé Sir Olan pour que vous puissiez passer par devant vous, nous, s'il vous plaît. Nous avons Michael Lapierre. Um, lui-même, lui, dans le club, lui, lui tout côté. C'est lui-même qui est là dans la technologie pour capable faire tout le pour nous dans le club, la flyers, tout le bagaille net. C'est un leader exceptionnel. Je vous demande de passer devant pour nous, s'il vous plaît. By the way, c'est lui-même qui est responsable pour le plan pour Kempo qui a fait Wyoming. C'est lui-même qui est chef en responsable là. Thank you so much. Nous gagnons yon moun. Sister Monique Casey. Can you please come forward for us, please? Li, se li, si nous gagnons Jum Kajun et Jodi, c'est à cause de Monique. Il y a même 5 ans ensemble avec nous. Il n'y a pas de nous, il y a une peine, il y a un jour. Mais chaque samedi, il est toujours là pour supporter nous. Et nous disons, Sister Monique, thank you so much. She doesn't speak Creole, but she understands Creole. <laughs> thank you. Si le programme ça fait jour et jour, c'est grâce à Pasteur nous. Pasteur Lucende Joseph. Je vous demande Pasteur Joseph pour passer par devant pour nous, s'il vous plaît. Bien que nous n'ayons un moment d'évangélisation, mais lui permet que le programme soit possible aujourd'hui. Et lui supporte nous, nous vraiment apprécions. Là, vous connaissez le chef, mais vous voyez, je reste là. Thank you, Richard. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nous gagnons. Mon qui responsable district 3, c'est Miss Burnett Martin. N'a pas demandé si l'assemblée a voulu passer par devant pour nous, s'il vous plaît. Miss Burnett, can you please come forward? This certificate is presented on August 5th, 2023 to Ms. Burnett Martin in appreciation in your dedication and support to the Pathfinder Club. May God continue to bless you in this ministry. Thank you. Adventure Pathfinder Master Guy. Hatten Shen Present Am Order Am Maybe sitting. Thank you, Miss Bernard. You want to say something? Bethany, I thank you very much. You've come a long way. And I want to say to you all, I'm very, very proud of you. Continue to walk with the Lord. Continue to seek his face. He loves you with an everlasting love, and he will always robe you in his righteousness. Director William, continue to do the job the Lord has anointed you to do. Assistant Director Franklin, you're a special person. Yeah, yeah. A very special person. The Lord has anointed you to do what you are doing. And I want to say to you, don't go faint. And when you feel like you're going faint, reach out. 
call out to Jesus. Amen. He is your author and the finisher of your faith. And he will hold you with his strong and powerful arms. Amen. And to the pastor of this church, you have an army that you are building a fence around day by day. So when you put your head down, remember Bethany. When you stand up, because the devil, the tempter, is after your children. Hold your children through prayer and fasting. Hold them. We do not want to lose them. We want to hear when our names are called, that their names are called also. And so again I say, I was not expecting this. I work in the background, but thank you, thank you. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nous gagnons un monde qui apprend j'ai causé nous. Là nous sortis l'exemple pour que nous jeunes manger pour nous manger décoration belle c'est famille à la bi. Um, gende de moun l'église là ou pa wè yo devan men yo ap travay. Se a la bi ki te travay li pou vini um, pendant semaine nan pou ranger tout cause mais nou pa gen corps pou nou paye moun sa yo. Mais nou vle di fami fami a la bi ke nou apresye service ke ou bay et merci. Yo pa la an pa fè yo pase pa devan men nou konnen nou rekonèt yo. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Merci. Nous avons un autre monde spécial pour nous. Il était secrétaire club là. Après ça, ça joue même ensemble avec la bataille. Il pas secrétaire club là, c'est comme Zélie qui secrétaire club là. Il est toujours là, c'est un ami, c'est une sœur, c'est un pile pour nous. Sœur Saventa Charitable. Si nous sommes campés là, nous avons énergie pour me parler. C'est madame qui vous soin. Merci, merci en fin. I love you, chérie. All right, it's only right that we save the best for last. Uh, you see, the club wouldn't be what it is today if it weren't for our leadership. And on top of that, leadership is our brother William. Même like he said, I mean, I mean, I mean, please pass it. He equally gives the same effort as leader. And without him, the club would not be here. Uh, throughout the pandemic, when we couldn't come to church, we found ways, he would find ways to have the club gather via Zoom or come in person when we can to continue on the work that we needed be, we needed to do as pathfinders. And it's only right that we acknowledge him for all the hard work and support that he has given to the club. And also we praise God for him because he is such a marvelous leader. And not only that, he is a wonderful person as well. And we would like to present this plaque to you, Brother William, for your hard work and to the club of Bethany. Pathfinders, what do you say to for your director, Bethany Pathfinders? Give it up to for your director. Nous gagnons un coordonnateur master guy nous c'est Mirland. N'a pas de passer par devant afin que pour club là capable. Wow, qui est ce qui Mirland? Coordonnateur master guy pour district three. Sister Mirland. Is it a good afternoon, everyone? Good afternoon, everyone. I am so delighted to be here this morning. I'm bien content la matin ensemble avec nous et nous est côté de son affaire un bon travail et nous même sans sans club blanc nous pas arriver dans les vols ça. So I'm encouraging all the master guy to collaborate with me so we can get our district back to um in track. So once again, thank you for inviting me. And it was a pleasure to um, see you guys this morning. And happy Sabbath. Thank you. Thank you. 
n'a pas invité l'église pour capable mettre au debout pendant que n'a chanté le numéro 517 je chanterai ton grand amour les couplets 1 4 et 5 1 4 et 5 Je chanterai ton grand amour L'hiver, l'été, la nuit, le jour Car cet amour est éternel Si grand et pourtant si réel Si grand et pourtant si réel Toujours, toujours Je chanterai ton grand amour Je chanterai ton grand amour. Je chanterai quand ton enfant est menacé de l'ouragan. Ta voix et flots sont mesurés et par sa maison dirigée. Et par sa maison dirigée. Je chanterai ton grand amour Toujours, toujours Je chanterai ton grand amour Je chante en donc jusqu'au grand jour Pour réunir dans ton amour Quand Dieu nous met en tes splendeurs Please open your Bibles to Matthew 22, verse 29. Jesus replied, You are in error because you do not know those scriptures or the power of God. Amen. It is Say, right now. Lord, prepare, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Heavenly Father, we come before Thee today, Holy Day, Holy Sabbath. First of all, to say good morning or good afternoon. We say good morning to you because last night we went to sleep. And this morning, you woke us up 
While we were sleeping, you sent the garden, guardian angel to watch over every single one of us. And we close our door, house door, to come here together to worship you, to praise your name, to glorify your name, and to exalt your name. We thank you because day after day, night after night, you take good care of all of your children. Why not saying thank you to you, dear Lord? We all come from far and near to worship you. We have people coming from Georgia. We have people coming from Fort Lauderdale. We have people coming from Burlington. I mean Bradenton. We have people coming from Orlando. We all gather together here. Here to worship you. We thank you, dear Lord. As we are here to receive special words that you have for us, I ask you please to clean our heart so the prayer, the meditation, and everything that we are doing will be uniquely to glorify your name. And in return, we will receive a special blessing from you. Period ça, Seigneur, c'est période, surtout jeudi, les consacrer comme je n'ai pas de fin de. Côté nous joignent jeunes qui sortent partout et ailleurs. Côté nous te carrelent une journée internationale dans un temps bétané. Nous disons merci Seigneur du fait que ou te prend pas petit tout ou mène yo tout vini là pour pou nous adorer ensemble parce que je dis c'est une cette convocation côté ou réunis nous de près et de loin pour nous capables de mettre voix nous ensemble pour nous louer nous pour nous exalter nous pour nous magnifier nous nous remercier pour ça Seigneur et pendant Na prio la souple, na mando you special, a special blessing for the preachers today. We have the two young children, two youths, who are going to speak to our heart. I ask you, please, Lord, be with them, guide the mind, guide the mouth, so they will speak about you. So we all will receive special blessing from you. Jesus, na pour pou l'amour de Jésus, fait grâce à tout petit tout, à genouiller là. Nous tout gen un problème différent et nous tout aussi gen un bouquet pour nous présenter à vous même. C'est pour nous reconnaissant envers ça ou fait pour nous, envers qui moun ou yé pour nous. Aidez-nous pour nous rester au pied de la croix. Et sans oublier, Seigneur, que nous devons prier pour le pasteur de l'église. Pour les deux semaines d'évangélisation qui pourraient aller en cours à partir de demain soir. Nous demandons pour capable d'éprégner le serviteur. Et permettre que le serviteur soit capable de recevoir un spécial blessing from you. Et il est capable de parler à Pep ou, et non seulement à Pep ou, mais à tout ça yo qui peut connaît ou, ou bien qui connaît ou, mais qui a marché clopi clopon pour nous tous réunir ensemble, pour baler là, pour baler le Saint-Esprit de Dieu, afin qu'au nom de Jésus, des âmes capables de venir au Bekai, des âmes capables de venir pour accepter ou comme sauveur et seigneur, et ensemble, nous va préparer pour le grand retour. Merci pour la prière, n'a pas aussi levé ma femme devant vous qui a célébré et anniversaire Nous disons merci du fait qu'il a additionné une autre nouvelle année dans sa vie. 
bénis de toutes sortes de bénédictions. Bénis toute famille qui rassemblait dans tout recoin pour venir passer un moment avec lui. Permettre que vous permettez de te venir ensemble. Et vous pouvez retourner en bien, sans danger, sans accident. Et ni l'autre qui veut agir sur cette faute-là de dalle pour capable supporter la petite soeur. Eh bien, Lucie, Jean, qui peut le graduer jeudi. Permettre que Seigneur, nous tous capables passer un bon moment au pied de la croix. Et puis si tout ça, on va retourner aussi. C'est et sauf après l'église qui pourra le voyager, qui pourra le voyager demain si Dieu veut. Permettre que présent sous, capable d'assister chaque petit tour. Et que au nom de Jésus, nous va continuer, louer, glorifier et exalter ton saint grand nom. Fais du bien à tes enfants. Pardonne nos péchés. Et si nous osons prier au Seigneur, c'est pas parce que nous bon nous dit, parce que nous pas gagnons nous qui bon. Mais nous avons toute grâce et faveur ça y est, à travers les mérites de Jésus qui accepte immoler pour nous sous le bras des fameux du calvaire, à notre sauveur revienne l'honneur, puissance, sagesse des avant tous les temps, maintenant et au siècle des siècles. Amen. Say Lord prepare, Lord prepare me to be a sanctuary. Pure and holy, pure and holy. Servings de Fidelite, please open your Bibles to Malachi 3, verses 7 through 10. Ever since the time of your ancestors, you have turned away from my decrees and have not kept them. Return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord Almighty. But you ask, how are we to return? Will a mere mortal rob God, yet you rob me? But you ask, how are we robbing you? In tithes and offering, you are under a curse, your whole nation because you are robbing me. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will be not enough room to store it. Amen. Please bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to come and, and celebrate this Pathfinder Day and hope that we that you will continue to bless us, not today, but tomorrow in the future as well. Amen. Each 
day is like heaven, my heart overflows the longer I serve him, the sweeter he grows. Plenty of grace He stores Every day my way Gets brighter The longer I serve Him The sweeter He grows the longer I serve Him, the sweeter He grows. The more that I love Him, more love He bestows. Each day is like heaven, my heart overflows. My heart overflows the longer I serve Him, the sweeter He grows. Sweeter He Chers frères et sœurs, bonjour. Bonsoir. À un moment ça, son moment, son coin nous réservé pour International Pathfinder Campore qui vient pour faire dans 2024 là. Avant nous dire ça, nous pourrions dire qu'on a une vidéo, nous avons un passé pour so, notamment des technologies pour uh, faire ça pour nous. Après la technologie, je vais une vidéo. Il y a quelques mots que je vais partager avec nous. Et puis, après ça, nous avons une offrande spéciale. Nous allons ramasser pour pas de fin de Pour qu'on pourrait. Ya. Ok? Donc, so, nous allons garder la vidéo. Et après ça, nous allons l'adresser avec quelques mots. Okay, merci. Do you think Pathfinder has made you a better person? Yes, I would say so. Because it taught me a little bit of discipline. Okay, merci avec la technologie. 
nous connaissons pour Pathfinder, Campo et Cap Vinia. Dans plusieurs fois, en pile dans le monde, nous avons participé à Campo à travers de l'autre l'église. Parce que nous, même l'église haïtienne, nous avons toujours dit que bah, nous avons tellement coûté cher, nous pas voué à nous. Mais il faut me dire ça, l'autre l'église que les gens participé, ce n'est pas comme ça qu'ils participé, c'est que les gens qui le fonds de raising, quand on a fait en 2024, depuis quand fini, l'église a commencé à fonds de raising jusqu'à ce que l'autre camp ait pour venir. Mais, je dis que l'église Bétané a une bonne nouvelle pour nous. Parce que lorsque le budget nous été fait, pour quand, originalement, nous avons dit que chaque monde pour participer dans le camp, la coûte à peu près 2725 dollars. Nous avons tout mis deux mains en tête, nous avons dit que c'était ça trop cher, ça trop expensif. Mais nous avons une bonne nouvelle pour nous. Après que nous avons analysé tout le le comité Achita, nous avons cut prix qui était 2725 dollars, nous avons cut à 1000 725 dollars. Qui ça nous dit? Mais même là encore, si les membres de l'église ont dégagé ou mis les mains dans la patte, 1727 dollars, ça, ça va être plus bas. Mais il faut que les membres de l'église ont participé. Nous, même Bethany, Patmos, nous dit que nous avons suspendu aller sous l'autre église, que nous, même après l'année qui vient, que nous pour aller. Et année qui vient après, dans 5 ans après, parce que nous connaissons, je ne sais pas si nous qui dans l'œuvre avancée, qui a fait le plus gros bagage que ça, quand on a fait le dernier et le plus gros bagage dans l'œuvre avancée. Je pense que c'est un privilège, nous gagnons, c'est un privilège, si nous gagnons, pour participer dans un bagage comme ça. Quand on a fait à peu près 130 pays qui ont participé là, je ne sais pas si nous avons fait le plus gros bagage, nous avons fait 130 pays qui ont participé autre que pas de des camps, camp pour rien. Ce qui donc, en nous supportant les timons nous, ça nous demande à timons nous vaut plus que ça. En nous aider yo. Thank you. En nous aider yo aller participer dans camp. Comme moi dis non, quand il y a 130 pays qui ont participé à la donne. Il y a à peu près 55 000 participants qui ont fait un projet pour, pour aller dans le camp Et puis, nous avons une date là, c'est du 5 août au 11 août 2024. Donc, so, nous avons demandé aux membres de l'église et des jeunes et des timons. Mais pour le moment, nous avons seulement 7 places qui ont c'est Pierre Coute qui prend devant. Les sept places sont fin remplies. Après ça, on a pensé si on a réouvert la uh, registration. Mais c'est sept places qui étaient. C'est Pierre Coute qui prend devant. So, pour nous. Et puis, après tout, nous avons une enveloppe pour le passer. Lorsque je ne suis passé pour offrir une spéciale pour Pathfinder, ou quand je sauvé dans le basket là. Mais l'enveloppe là, son bagage spécial. Nous avons demandé pour nous ouvrir le cœur pour nous aider les jeunes. Ouvrir le cœur pour nous aider les gens à aller. Et l'enveloppe là, même si nous n'avons pas un poche ou n'avons pas un problème. Donc, pour avons un désir pour bailler, pour avoir une enveloppe. Allah, quand vous priez, et puis vous mettez ça pour mettre ça. Mais l'enveloppe là, nous avons demandé pour nous, parce que le budget nous est en pile, pour Enveloppe là, on peut mettre PPT 100 dollars et up. Enveloppe là, combien de fois on peut mettre la donne 100 dollars et up. Donc, so, un monde qui sent le désir pour aider le club, là, pour aider les gens à aller dans le camp de pendant que les gens passent, on peut lever les mains, on peut prendre l'enveloppe. Mais le basket là, on peut mettre n'importe quoi sur la donne. Mais l'enveloppe là, on peut mettre 100 dollars et up. Please, aidez les gens à aller dans le camp parce que c'est 
il y a un plus gros événement qui est dans l'œuvre adventiste là. Et lorsque je n'ai pas là, c'est sûr et certain, il n'y a pas à vide. Et lui même tout, en retour, dans cinq ans après, lorsque le programme s'est fait, il est très content pour lui aider les jeunes à participer. So, nous avons chanté, nous avons demandé un ancien euh, 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 JA qui est en Haïti, nous avons gardé moi si nous avons chanter nous. So, nous avons nou chanté euh, Debout, jeunesse, élève toi. Debout, jeunesse, élève toi. Courageuse, vaillante. À courant, L'amoureuse et vaillante, il vit jeunesse, il vit jeunesse, il vit, il vit jeunesse, ton renom de vie, il vit, oui, ton renom de vie, si l'on te dit jeunesse, il faut. Joyeux du temps qui passe, non rien n'est grand et rien ne vaut la route que Dieu trace. Il vit jeunesse, il vit jeunesse, il vit, il vit jeunesse, ton rédemme de vie, il vit. Dans notre monde, en désarroi, pense à ceux de ton âme. Je jeunesse, on a besoin de toi et de ton témoignage. This is the, what's being shown on the screen at this moment is the promotional video for our Campery 2024 Camp Pathfinder International Campery. Pathfinders, are you ready for some history making news? The International Pathfinder Campery is going west. In 2024, come play, learn, and worship at an exciting all-new location in beautiful Wyoming. Get ready for bigger and better campgrounds and facilities, new places to explore, and a whole new world of amazing off-site activities. We'll see you at the International Pathfinder Campery in Gillette, Wyoming. What we say, church? Amen. Let's support the young people so that they may partake in this International Campery next year. 
um, August 5th through the 11th. Um, this is the moment that we all have been waiting for. Now is the time to praise God, praise and worship God. And after our praise and worship, that is going to be done by our junior praise team, our Pathfinder members. We have the privilege this morning to hear two sermons. God has charged two of his servants to bring forth his word this morning. Um, there are members of our Pathfinder Club. Um, we have the first preacher, Michaela Pierre, will, who will be bringing the word of God. And also we have Brendan Etienne, also who is charged to present the word of God. Pray for these young people as they deliver the message that God has charged them this morning. And just before you hear the preachers this morning, we're going to ask the junior praise team to come forward as we go into praise and worship. God is good all the time. God is good all the time. God is good all the time. We would like to ask the, uh, the church to stand up so we can start our praise and worship. Me, and I know who I am. 
also today, but especially I want to thank God for using me as a vessel to speak to his people this morning. I also want to thank my mommy for being there for me, and also my uncle from Miami who's here, somewhere in the crowd. And I also I want to thank my mommy especially because I was sick all week last week, and I couldn't do anything, couldn't do any schoolwork, work, and she nursed me back to health, and that's why I'm here today. Anyway, just avant que nous commencer, on coupe peut-être nous pour une coupe de prière. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask that your Holy Spirit will speak to me now as I await for your wisdom, insight, and direction. Speak to your people through your humble servant. In your name we pray. Amen. As you guys know, I'm a pretty friendly person. I talk to a lot of people, you know, and I have some somewhat successful friends, right? They're pretty young, you know, have nice cars, you know, like they have nice houses or whatever, good paying jobs already. And we, we talk sometimes, and one of them, she's also very religious, and she always tells me how she always feels unfulfilled, you know? Est-ce que nous sommes comme ça? Que nous venons l'église chaque samedi, nous prions chaque jour, you know, we have a good paying job, a nice house, nice cars, yet we still feel unfulfilled? Well, let me tell you guys what I've discovered. I've discovered that it's because you and I, we are made for so much more. You and I, we were made for more than just living for ourselves. Mes amis, you were made for God, by God, for God. Ça, ça veut dire. Cela signifie que quand moins que nos vies sont centrées sur le service de Dieu, nous ne jamais sentir que nous satisfaits. Nous ne sentir que nous ne sentir une fulfillment. The title of our message today is Serve God by Serving Others. Can you guys say that? Serve God by Serving Others. All right. Um, quand s'il vous serving brings a lot of fulfillment. I can't explain it. It's a mystery, but si nous avons tout le monde qui est dans ce salon là, they will tell you they do not want to be a servant. No one wants to be a servant. But everyone wants to be served, right? Like, you know, like for example, earlier I wanted to get some water. I asked this guy, can you please bring me some water? And he went and got water for me. 
We all want to be served. But yet, when we go out of our ways to help somebody, to serve somebody, we still find joy and fulfillment, though. You know, it kinda, it's kind of weird, right? We like to be served. We don't like to be a servant, but when we do it, we do feel joy. Anyways, I'll get into that later, but I want to share with you guys three keys from God's word that would bring about this truth. So the first point today is God designed us to serve. You know, Dieu nous a conçu pour servir. Bon Dieu a créé nous pour nous servir, right? And the second point is God gifted us to serve. Il nous a donné pour servir. Il a donné nos dons, talents pour nous servir. And the third point is Jesus showed us how to serve. Jésus nous a montré comment servir. Jésus est venu pour nous montrer comment nous servir. Il y a un petit blague de l'année que je voulais vous partager aujourd'hui, donc bear with me. Ok, donc so il y a un jour, on marche une fleur, il y a le fait tête, right? Il veut faire une nice haircut. Il y a un barber. Il y a un barber, il y a un barber, il 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 a He got so happy, you know, the content. He went home, you know, to do his, you know, mind his own business or whatever. And the next morning, the barber went to his shop to open it, you know, to open the shop. And he saw a nice thank you card. And like a bel arrangement de fleur à terre. Ça fait le plaisir en pile. Le gars c'était de marche en fleur, obviously, with a nice flower arrangement. So, même jour ça. Même jour ça, il y a un farmer qui vient faire cheveux tout. Même pas le passé. Mais ça vient faire cheveux, il me dit, monsieur, combien de copes on va Mais ça dit, oh, oh, don't worry about it. It's community service week, it's all free to buy God, it's to share it, don't worry. Oh my God, le farmer était vraiment content. And the next day, when the barber gets to the shop, he sees a very nice thank you card again. Il y a une belle douzaine d'œufs, bien fresh, bien nice. Ça le plaisir, un pile, un pile, un pile. So then the same day, this Haitian came. Oh, I see him in the shop, la, in fresh Why are you guys laughing? We're Haitian. Well, not everybody, I'm sorry. But yeah, he gets there, in fresh cheveux. And then the guys, so then when he's done, he's like, Combien do? How much do I owe you? Then the woman was like, Don't worry about it. This week is community service. Like, I'm doing everything for free. Don't worry about it. <gasps> Last of the I'm like, oh my God, sis, what? That's crazy. So he went home, you know, like I leave. I'm being very content. Every two the matin, the barber arrive. The barber arrive, no matter. Who said no pose curl way? No, not not zero, not rice. But he saw a growling second I see. Captain Liu ve pot la, ve pot la vin fresh ve nu ve pot la. Anyways. Serving God by doing what? Serving God by doing what? Serving others. Our very first point was God designed us to serve. Can you guys say that with me? God designed us to serve. You know, mon invente bagay pour plusieurs différentes raisons, pas vrai? But toujours on on purpose special pour lui. Par exemple, bon ça que nous chita souyon. They're made for us to sit on, right? I mean, you could, you could stand on it, but it will be weird for you to just stand on the whole thing, like throughout the whole service. That's, that's weird. And this mic, it's made for someone to project their voice into a crowd so they can be better heard, right? But if I use this, I'd ruin it, right? I'm sorry, I'm going to drink some water because I'm, I'm still kind of sick. All right, I'm so sorry about that, guys. Please bear with me. All right, so, <laughs> anyways, you and I were designed by God not just to go to school, to, go, to come to church, to have a nice career, to get rich, or just enjoy life. But, Mesami, God designed us to make a difference in life. He doesn't want us to only be takers, but he, all, he, he wants us to also be givers, you know? He wants us to give something back. And the Bible is very clear about our role, about our design. And Ephesians 2 verse 10, Ephesians 2 verse 10, open your Bible if you can. <coughs> amen, when you're, amen when you're ready. I'm just going to say amen. I'm going to read for you guys. We are God's workmanship. 
created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance to do. In French it says, quand nous sommes son ouvrage ayant été créé en Jésus-Christ pour de bonnes œuvres que Dieu a préparé d'avance afin que nous les pratiquions. Notice there it says, we are, all of us, we are God's workmanship, created by design, by God in Jesus, to do what? To do good work. The word good works here, well, the term good work, <coughs> oh my God. The term good works here, it's another word for service. When we serve others, we are serving God. <coughs> I'm so sorry, okay? And all of our service, believe it or not, has already been designed and planned in advance for us. You see, you and I, we cannot save ourselves, right? That's why we have faith. But the thing is, after that we're saved, you and I, we must get involved in good works because we were created by God to do good works. He wants us to serve him by serving others, and he's the evidence of our salvation. On Peter Cartier, they feel like they don't need to do good works, right? Because good works don't save. <coughs> because good works don't save us. Huh, thank you. Okay, yeah, as I was saying, on Peter Cartier, you don't feel like they should do good works because good works don't save us. But um, they just think that they don't need to go out, just need to just stay home, you know, read the Bible and just be themselves. Like a lot of Christians, they are. There are couch potato Christians. They just sit there, you know, just sit on the bench, sitting on the sideline, just not in the game, just not locked in, you know? And they just get fat on the word of God. And they think coming here every single day is just, it's okay. I don't know what it is about those Christians, but I know if you, you'll never be content until you learn how to serve. If you want to cure depression, you go out there in the name of Jesus and help others. You want to be happy, go out. And be good to and do good to others. You want to live a meaningful life? Go out and serve others. Let me tell you guys something. If you're not currently serving the Lord today in any capacity, you're in danger. You're in danger of moral failure. You're in danger of becoming stale complacent. You're in danger of missing out and lots of blessings. And you're in danger of experiencing spiritual decline. You cannot say that because when we serve God, you, when you serve God, you will serve other people. Service and ministry, it's all about people. It's not about throwing events, inviting people to come out, but it's about the people. <coughs> I read somewhere, nous pouvons servir sans aimer Dieu, mais nous ne pouvons pas aimer Dieu sans servir les autres. Do you guys know the name of the ushers, the drummer, the Sabbath school teacher of the kids? Many of those people, they serve, they serve with their hearts. They do it because they love God, and they choose to give their lives to them in any shape or form. You might say, Kayla or Michaela, how do I serve? What can I do to serve? Let's go back to the Bible. You have been given a gift, which brings me back to point number two. Point number two was, God designed us to serve. Can you guys say that? God designed us to serve. And now point number two, which is, God gifted us to serve, which is? Come on, guys. A little bit louder, please. Thank you. You have been given a gift. In 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10, it says, as each one has received a special gift, Employ it in serving one another as good stewards as the manifold grace of God. You know what that is? Um, oh, sorry. Everyone in ev every, each one of us, when we, um, upon receiving God in our life, Jesus in our life, we receive the gifts of salvation. It's ours, but he also gave us a special gift. He gave us a spiritual gift. Now, Logos Wakadosa, which is unlike other gifts, you know, when you get a gift, you don't share it. You don't, you, don't give to, you don't share it with others, right? Because it's your gift. It's a gift to you. But this gift, it's not for you to keep. It's a gift that you receive from God to bless others with. Pourquoi je rencontre un monde qui est tellement doué et talentueux que les gens ont performé ou senti que vous même ou béni? It could be a teacher, you know, at school, when they're teaching you something, it just, it looks so easy, and you feel so inspired by, by them. 
because they're so doué. Or it could be like the praise team, you know, they're so talented, they're singing, and you feel connected to God. Or it could be, it could be someone, you know, singing a solo, <coughs> a solo, or someone playing the piano or the violin. And as they're playing, you just feel so wowed and just so blown away because they're so talented. <coughs> you know that voice crack. Anyways, it means that they have a special gift that they possess that you might not possess, and that's okay. So what are spiritual gifts? They are God-empowered abilities that cannot be earned or chosen, only given by God. And these are very natural from, um, from natural abilities, like you know, you being athletic or artistic, these are different. Our spiritual gifts, they are given when we're committed to God. God directly gives us those gifts. They are unlearned, but they're very valuable. <coughs> For example, you could have met someone who is so mean and rude and so unwelcoming, right? But then the next time, but then they receive God in their life. They get committed to God. Then the next time you see them in church, they're like the nicest person ever. They're the most welcoming person ever. You know, that's like, that's technically a gift. You know, because God changed them. God gave them those gift, that gift of, of hospitalization. Yeah, that gift. Thank you. Hospitality. Thank you. So like, in 1 Corinthians 2, verse 14, it says, whoever does not have the spirit cannot receive the gift that comes from God's spirit. In other words, you need to be connected with God in order to receive that spiritual gift. It could be like teaching or God's wisdom. You know how some people, when you go to them, they're so good at giving you god with advice? It's not, it doesn't just come from them. It's God's gift to them to bless others with, you know? Anyways, and if it's in 4, verse 16, it says, the whole body, the church, joined together by very supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. Do you consider yourself as part of the church or as a lone wolf Christian? We are part of the church, right? Um, see guys, because the church is, so, is just so diverse and it's filled with different people, we have lots of different gifts. And these gifts, we need to use them to serve one another in areas that we don't excel in. So you and I, we're all important part of the body of Christ. There is no one who can say, my gift is better than yours, you know? Because us working as one, we can work together and serve the body of Christ as one. Remember, our gifts, they're not for us to draw attention to ourselves. It's not for us to get applause or approval. It's not for us to put on a show. This is not Broadway, you know? But remember, those gifts, they are here so we can bless other people with. Are you with me? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. If you're filled with pride, if you're conceited, if you have selfish motives using those gifts, guess what? All those blessings that that gift was, was meant to give, they're all useless. Now, how do you discover your spiritual gift? First and foremost, volunteer your services. Go out and try something new. And you, you see what you can do. If you can sing next Saturday or today, go and ask them, can I do a solo for next Saturday? Volunteer your service. If you're good with kids, go um, approach those children ministry leader. Volunteer your services. I'm pretty sure they need, um, they need help. If you want to grow those gifts, ask and volunteer them. Now, don't give up just because you're not good at something in the church. Don't be like, well, I can be used by God because my gift is not good enough. Friends, sometimes you need to develop that gift. Don't hold back just because you feel like you're not fully ready to share that gift with others. And, it's not, and if it's not your niche, you can serve in different areas. Everyone has their own way of serving, and that's okay because we all need each other to work as one. Anyways, some questions. Are you guys, are you guys aware of your spiritual gift today? <coughs> I'm sorry again. Or if you're still not sure what it is, um, you can ask people around you and ask them, and ask them um, what they think that you're excelling. Another question is, if you do know your gift, are you going out of your way to share that gift with others, or do you just don't care and just hold back? When we use our gifts together, guys, we all benefit. God brought you here to be in service for your brothers within those walls and outside of those walls. All right then, so how do we put those gifts in practice? How do we serve each other in the way that we're meant to. Guys, I got good news for you.
God did not just design us to serve. He didn't just, you know, gift us to serve. He also sent Jesus to show us how to serve. God, um, so my point number two, three, which is Jesus showed us how to serve. Can you guys say it with me? Jesus. Guys, I'm sick and I'm louder. Not because of the mic, though. Come on, please. Jesus. Thank you. He was an example. He was the prime model. He came to this earth and he says, and he said, follow me and watch what I do as well. Christ came to this earth and not serve, but he served. We need to learn the example of what it is to be a Christian life servant. Do you want to make your life count? Do you want to make an impact? What does it take to be a Christ life servant? In the book of Matthew, chapter 14, verse 14, there was an incident where Jesus was ashore and he saw a large crowd and he felt compassion for them. It was a sensitivity he had for the crowd. Jesus was sensitive to their needs. To be a Christ-like Christian, you and I, we need to be sensitive to the needs of others. Like, it's not an automatic thing, you know? That's where you need to bring God with you. That's when you need to put Jesus with you and use his eyes to see people. Use his eyes to see what their, what their needs are. We will, <coughs> oh God. we will never know the need of people until we are with people. You know, the cause, the cause of 90% of problems in marriages, they're not, it's not finances, it's not physical, it's not relational etc. But 90% of the cause of problems in marriages is because people are selfish, you know. You're thinking about your needs, your wants, you are making everything about yourself, but you're not thinking about your significant other. We need to be selfless and sensitive. Let's go to our story in Matthew chapter 14. Jesus, he comes ashore, he sees the crowds, and he feels compassion. And he says, we need to be available. Guys, say available. We are all so busy with our own agenda that we don't have no time to be available for others. I don't want to be bothered. I want to live my life my own way, et cetera, et cetera. But listen, God wants you to be available. Oftentimes, we feel like we don't have enough resources to meet the needs of others. That's what the disciples felt. The disciples wanted to withdraw. They were telling Jesus, we cannot feed all those people. It's a lot of people. We can't feed them. <coughs> But what did Jesus reply? He told them in verse 16 to 17, they do not need to go away. You give them, some, you give them something to eat. And they said to Jesus, we have here only five loaf and two fish. That's all we have, Jesus. But guys, the thing is, to be available simply means that we are distributors. Jesus is the manufacturer and we are the distributor. We ha he has all the resources that we need we only need to be available to pass those resources on to others as Jesus gave them to us. Am I making sense? Yeah? You guys with me? All right. <coughs> it goes on to say in verse 19, you know, a brief summary. Jesus took the, the loaves and the two fish. He blessed the food and he gave them to the disciples and the disciples gave them to the crowd. And they all ate and they all were satisfied. Take a note of this. He gave them to the disciples, and he gave them to the crowd, and they gave them to the crowd. So don't be afraid to be available. To be available means to be willing to stop whatever you're doing, to be interrupted. <coughs> when Jesus was going through Jericho, he saw the chaos, he, but he stopped and sat down with Zacchaeus. And when he was going through other parts, he healed the blind man, Bartimaeus, and he healed lepers, the demon possessed men, Jesus was always willing to stop, be interrupted, and be available. Guys, you and I, we have no ability on our own to be able to serve other people, but he has all the capacity. So we receive them from him and we pass it on. <coughs> so you need to be selfless, be sensitive, be available, and be willing to be stopped, meet other people's needs um, in the midst of your own agenda. Why? Because we can supply to them what because we can supply to them what he supplies to you. It doesn't it doesn't matter how much you think you're successful because of your nice car, your nice house, very high paying job, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. God is not going to say, "Well done, good and faithful doctor," or "Well done, good and faithful 
businessman or well done, good and faithful pastor. None of that. He's going to say, well done, good and faithful servant. Because that's what counts. That's what counts in the end. Are you a servant? Are you a servant that's faithful? Faithful, faithfulness means we don't focus on title. We don't focus on position. We don't focus on men's approval. Our only focus is pleasing the Lord. <coughs> Are you guys with me? Yeah? So as servants, we must be sensitive, available, and faithful. Just like Jesus. We have to serve God with fervor and passion. Whatever you do, do your work heartily as the Lord rather than for men. And some of you might be thinking, I've been serving God for a long time. It's like I'm doing God a favor, you know? But guys, listen, I want you guys to understand that if you feel really tired of doing all those things for God, don't consider those things sacrifices. They are not sacrifices because you never sacrifice for the Lord. You could never. Our mindset should be, it's a privilege. It is a privilege. We're not doing God any favors by, <coughs> oh my God. We're not doing God any favors by serving others as well. In fact, God is giving us the favor by serving others on his behalf. Don't serve God if you're not doing it with delight. At work, at home, in the community, no matter who you serve, what you serve, wherever you are, you're serving God. <coughs> He says, I have a word for you. Oh my, I'm sorry again. Give me a second. Anyways, when the time comes, God won't ask you what car you drive, but he'll ask you how many people did you drive who didn't have any transportation. God won't ask you how big was your house, but he'll ask you how many people did you welcome in in your home. God won't ask you about the nice designer clothes that you have in your closet. But he'll ask you, how many people did you help clothe? He won't ask you, what, neighbor, what neighborhood did you live in? Is it a nice neighborhood in the ghetto? No, he won't ask you all that. He's going to ask you, were you nice to your neighbor, na neighbors? <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Anyways, God knows everything we're doing today. Instead of looking for applause and approval of people, we need to look forward to the reward of God. He has his rewards set aside for us in heaven. And he says, behold, I'm coming quickly, and my reward is with me to render to every man according to what he has done. It's never in vain what you do for the Lord. <coughs> and remember, God designed us to serve. God gifted us to serve. And he showed us, Jesus showed us how to serve. Please don't tell me you're serving God if you're not serving others. And I'm done. I'm sorry. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning, Pathfinders, and happy Sabbath to all. Our second sermon is called Call to Serve. What I just said, our title was today. Let us, oh, we're not going to pray because, you know, the message was long, but we're just going to get into the sermon as fast as we can. Our text this morning is found in the book of Isaiah 6, verse 8. Please turn and tap to the Bible of Isaiah chapter 6. And when you have it, if you found it, please say amen. And I will be reading from the King James Version in your hearing. And it reads, also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, who shall I send and who will I go for us? Then said, here I am, send me. The term is often used in the business industry to define assistance and goods provided to customers. Stores like Amazon, Publix, Walmart provide service by selling goods such as food, clothing, houseware, to customers, restaurants serve food as a form of service. Car dealerships provide service by offering their customers selection of a vehicle to drive. Mechanics provide by service by performing maintenance. Even churches provide religious and spiritual service such as worship and prayers for the members. Let us admit it's Let's admit it, service is just something that is around us 
and is something that we are called to do. Successful business understand that in order to succeed in sales, we must deliver the highest quality service to the customers, not only to the companies to deliver the highest qualities, customer ser service to their customers, but they treat their employees with respect. You see, brothers and sisters, young people, if you didn't know any better, I wouldn't say that customer service isn't based on the Bible. But after spending time in the word of God, I come to find out that customer service is everything to do with being a true Christian. From the very beginning, God gave both Adam and Eve two jobs, which was to be fruitful and multiply and have dominion over all the earth. Genesis 1 verse 28. This means that it's always, be, it's always God's intention for us to provide service to the earth and in return we could receive. The phrase, what goes around, comes around. This is true because we, re we, we reap what we sow, therefore we must be careful what we sow in order to reap what is good. In Matthew 7 verse 12, we find Jesus telling his disciples what we what we know as a golden rule, which is to do. Do to others as you want them to do to you. This, is, this means that if we want to be treated we, well, we must treat others the same. <laughs> to push things further, Jesus also tells his, us not to repay an eye for an eye or a tooth for a tooth. This means that we should not seek revenge when others have wronged us because people will wrong us but instead, we love our neighbors as we love ourselves. My dear brothers and sisters, when we choose to treat others the way we, could, we want to be treated, we are choosing to act like Christ. Let me say it again, those in the back. I said, when we choose to treat others the way we, want, we would want to be treated, we are choosing to act like Christ. And it... And, and this is how we serve others. We treat them with respect, love, care, and as Christ would. This is why it's important to ask yourself, before you do anything, what would Jesus do? Because we are followers of Christ. 1 John 4 verse 20 tells us, whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or a sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brothers and sisters who have seen cannot love God, who they have not seen. Which, which means we cannot say we love God if we don't love our brother and sisters too. Sadly, we live in a world that teaches us to put ourselves before others, but it's not what Christ teaches us. Christ tells us that the first shall be last, and that is, that is if we love him, we must keep his commandments. Since Jesus gave his life for us, we should give our life to him by serving others. And the Bible, the Bible also says that we are, follow, we, 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 we are to love another, one another as, as we love ourselves. In Matthew 22, verse 39, and we show our love for others by serving them as Christ did. You see, young people, we are many places, we are many places and ways we could serve others today. We could serve others in our church. We could serve others in our home. We could serve others in our school. We can serve others in our job and communities. You see, brothers and sisters, you don't have to act to be a certain age to serve others. You can you can serve others right where you are right now. You can serve others helping somebody out. You can, you can serve others by doing community service. You can serve others by encouraging somebody. By doing these things, we can be living witness for our God, Savior, and King, Jesus Christ. The enemy does not want us to serve one another because he hates God and his children. But we should not stop us from continuing to serve 
God with gladness. As, so as Pathfinders today, I want to let you know whether you are inside or outside, you can be a light for God in the way you speak and walk. Somebody once said that you may just be the only Bible someone may ever read, which means that we are, the way we present ourselves matters to God and others around us. The Bible says that we shall know you by your fruit. And Matthew 7, 16, as Pathfinders today, you don't have to have a lot of money to serve others. You don't have to have a lot of knowledge to serve others. You don't have to have a you don't ha you don't you don't know the Bible fr from front to back to serve others. You don't even have to have the greatest speaker in the world to serve others. You can serve others. God, just the way you are. Before I take my seats, I want to let you know, you guys, no matter where you are, no matter who you are, where you are and what time it is, you can serve others. Somebody once said, while you are waiting on God, do what waiters do and serve. When you leave here today, I, I want you to remember that you are called to serve. That means I would like you to find somebody who's in need and pray for them. Find somebody who's discouraged, encourage them. Somebody who is uh, 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 in this need of assist, assistance and assist them. Somebody who is hungry and feed them. Somebody who is in need of comfort and comfort them. Somebody who is in need of a friend and be their friend. Somebody who is in, in a community and bring them to church so they can receive the blessing of the Lord. May God bless you, Bethany families. Qui ça nous dit l'église? Merci en pile. Oui, mon moi pour patience nous. Parce que nous connaissons l'ITA, mais nous avons mangé pour tout le monde. Fait que nous sommes contents, nous avons mangé pour tout le monde. Um, Pasteur a demandé pour que le comité de l'église soit capable de être et puis um, parce que nous avons une um, communication après, après le culte. Là. Eh bien, ok, merci beaucoup. Merci tout le monde qui sorti loin, ok, bon Dieu béni nous. Nous vraiment apprécier ça. Um, nous avons demandé à Staline de passer par devant pour le dernier chant. Merci beaucoup. Numéro 322, premier et dernier couplet, s'il te plaît. La main de l'église a été capable de mettre nous deux. Yeah. 
Gracious Father, we have come to the end of the service and we want to thank you. Dear Lord, you have been with us from the start to the end. We just want to thank you for that. May we, may we practice and walk according to the word that has been preached to us today so that we can light to the world. Be with us as we leave this place and grant us peace in our hearts. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Bon Pathfinders, attention, left and right, face, forward, at a full step, march, 